All right, today we are going to be doing a magnetic button whoop whoop with Gisep. Whoop whoop. Because you guys have been asking for probably about a year for me to do something like this, and finally I managed to come around and uh, do it. It's going to be super simple. We're going to add this button to a landing page hero section kind of thing that I have created uh, two videos ago. And it's going to add to that page a little bit of je ne sais quoi, like we like to say here. So let's get started. All right. So I am going to be using Cloudways to deploy my project and install Elementor and everything. So I'm going to log in into my Cloudways account and we're going to start building there. Okay. All right. So we are ready to select an application and that application in our case is going to be WordPress. We're going to install WordPress. I'm going to call it a magnetic button let's say btn with can i do this um with gsap maybe this is not allowed so yeah special characters not allowed okay with gsap i'm gonna call the server the same way and we also can select our nearest location which in my case is frankfurt so i'm gonna set frankfurt set it to uh digital ocean server and um yeah i think we are ready to launch our application and i'm gonna come back once this is done all right so let's start building okay right now the page looks a little bit not so good <laughs> but i wanted to touch upon this because i've been asked how you can remove all these things from the page and i think this is the, the good a good time to to explain that so if you know how to do this you can skip a little bit and i will have timestamps in the description so you can skip all right so i'm gonna go to site settings and we start first with the heading so let's go to hello theme header so this is the theme that i'm using okay so I'm going to remove the site logo, the tagline and the menu. Okay. I'm going to save the changes and let's go back to uh, site settings again. Sorry. Let's go to hello uh, theme footer, remove site logo, tagline, menu and copyright. Boom. Save. And here we are going to go to our post settings and hide the title of our page and all of a sudden it's completely clear okay so let's go to our site settings again let's go to background and i'm going to uh, set a color for our background i don't have global set global color set on this website so i'm just going to go with black because this suits our design okay so i'm gonna get out of here and now we can bring in our landing page or hero experience and uh, then we can add our button and i want to touch upon another thing here because someone has asked me how you can import templates into elementor and it's so easy again if you know how to do this please skip to the next part but i will show this okay all right so you go here yeah on your page you can see this folder icon yeah and it says add template here so you click on this and i already have this i imported right now so if you don't know how to do that you can go here yeah and select the folder the json folder of the template that you have so that would be added to your thing okay so i'm gonna add this in you can uh disable this you don't want to see this again and it's added as you can see i have three versions of this the same version obviously but the three times imported all right so i will insert this yeah because this is the one that i want to use and since i don't have the color set as global settings i it looks a little bit different than you would see it in uh, my previous video so i'm gonna just change some colors because for example this text is not what i like at all all right so i'm gonna change the color of the text so let's go with a whitish color okay 
So I'm going to add a button. It's just a simple button. Yeah, I don't know exactly where I want it, but I don't want it there for sure. So I'm going to do an absolute positioning. Uh, and if you want to know, all these elements have absolute positioning. So that's why I was able to arrange them the way I arranged them. So I want the button to be on that side. A little bit lower and somewhere here. Okay. Yeah, we will position it uh, in a different area later on. You know what? I think I will delete this because at this point it's just bothering me. And uh, I think I will move the button actually here and bring it a bit down. So the button will kind of take the space here. All right. Okay so far so good so what we are going to be doing now is give this button a class and this class will be connected to some css that we will add custom css that we will add to the button all right so what i want to go to do is go to style and remove the color completely because i will show you what happens if you leave the color okay but for now we are just changing it to uh, transparent and let's give this color the text color black and typography we just leave it what it is but i'm going to transform it to uppercase and 400 ah, okay. for now that's what it is okay all right so i'm going to add my script in here yeah the script for the button for the magnetic button but i already have some code in here so what i usually do is this okay if i have already code in there i just combine it so i already have the script cdn for gsap so i will remove this one and then simply copy this part and add it to my script and let's just make some space here and then delete this and now everything should be okay our button uh, it's still weird let's see if anything is happening right now yes but you don't see it because the text as you can see if you grab it it kind of moves right but you don't see it because the background is transparent and the the absolute positioning is making it go over the video what we're gonna do now is basically go in our structure let's see where we have the button so the button is right here in the container that is holding everything basically so what we do now is add our css in here okay all right so let's go to advanced let's go to custom css and drop it in here this needs a dot so let's publish this all right so let's go to style yeah and now we, we have to change the position of the text because it's a little bit wonky here on the side so if i click on this it's going to go in the center i think it's kind of off center all right so let's go have a look on our as you can see it's quite grabby and this is what we want so you might think okay that this button looks a little bit funky here what's the point of it since we already have a form but we can remove the form and we can just have the button be the button let me just change the color because it doesn't match the vibe and what i will do is i'm going to go in uh, my css and change the color here so this is where you would change the background color of our of the button so i could say let's just say red okay it kind of matches yeah but i don't necessarily like the text black it doesn't or maybe we could do a um <laughs> thinking thinking let's go to the button and let's go to typography and let's make it thicker and maybe bigger let's say 200 that's way too much 
all right so um because we also want to change the text here and we can say get 25 oops 25 percent off so yeah i don't like the color maybe we can change the text color to four yeah i think that's good yeah okay the effect is not exactly the same for the text not changing color but that's okay so we can publish let me also change, change the color of this heading let's change the color because it's bugging me Go back, copy, and paste. Okay, let's publish. So let's have another look and imagine this. Yeah, this button basically it's your call to action. And as you click on it, you would get a pop up or something like that where you can actually further submit your email and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is let me just go to the button again and I am going to kind of shift this button a bit here and here maybe. All right. So let's have a quickie look mm -hmm. and boom. I kind of like it. Maybe I can move this a little bit here, but look at this effect, right? How cool this is. We can also move this text somewhere here. Maybe the button could be somewhere here overlapping this too. I mean, you can move it around, but the, the good and interesting thing is of course the button, right? I mean, you would not expect for this button to, to behave this way when hovered over. All right, so I'm back in my Cloudways back end and I want to create a staging environment for this landing page, especially since I might want to update this button on a regular basis to have a different call to action, offer something else, right? And I don't want to have to deal with the live server and break things and things not work. So what I'm going to do is create a staging environment for this. So I'm going to go to, uh, to applications right here. Yeah. So if you hover over, it says applications installed on this server. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose my magnetic button ap um, application. Okay. So let me go to staging management and I'm going to launch the staging management application and that is going to be for the magnetic button obviously and i'm gonna continue and i'm gonna let this do its thing and come back so it took a little bit uh, a few seconds until it went on to create a staging application and now it's creating it for us i also noticed that uh, the backend editor is a bit faster and could be because of cloudways hosting i'm not sure but it's i don't know usually you know it has a little bit of a lag and uh, some things don't really work as fast as they should um yeah so i think cloudways is is kind of helping me not with that i want to believe all right so the staging has been created for us as you can see we have the actual website that is live and the staging website so let's go to the staging and we can log in in this application so we can work on that staging part of the website so we don't have to have to work on the live side to break things as i said so you would log in in the staging website as you normally do and you are given a set of credentials as well so this is pretty good and i like this all right so as you can see we have push and pull for the staging process we can copy data from staging to live and copy data from live to staging so let's go back to let's go to backup and restore so you can take you can do a backup uh, on demand whenever you need to so let me just go through the process to see how it is okay so this is going to take a little bit it seems like and i'll come back all right, I think it took a little bit uh, over 30 seconds or so, and now it has created a backup. 
so if we have any issues we can do a restore of our application whenever we need to because we already have a backup all right so we can do backups on demand for example in two hours i might want to do another backup and use that to restore my website all right so you can also have uh, backups done automatically as you work on the project so you can also set the backup frequency here so this is very useful previous hosting providers that i used i've worked with they only have daily backups and if you want hourly you have to pay through the nose and that is uh, quite hefty i have to admit so you can have an hourly backup which is pretty good in my opinion um i've had issues with I've worked on a website all day and then something happened. I crashed it because I like to experiment with a lot of things. And then I had to back up with a, a backup from the day before. So that meant that all the work that I did all day was lost. I know that is insane. So you can also have a backup retention, meaning you can keep the backup for up to four weeks if you want. So I will leave a link to Cloudways hosting in the description below in case you're interested to read a little bit more and in depth. And also I want to reiterate, I've seen, said this before and I will say it again, 24 seven support is amazing, but 24 seven human support is even better in a world where ai is taking the world literally i think we all appreciate at least i appreciate good human interaction and you can simply if from your backend from your dashboard in cloudways you can simply click on this tab here on the side and you can talk to a human a human being that will understand what you're saying in comparison to an AI bot. So I think this is uh, great. And let me know if you had a good experience with their support, if you've used Cloudways or you had a bad experience with their support. So, all right, so we are in, all right, so we are back in the editor and I wanted to just go a little bit over the code I'm not going to explain anything but this part here. So you just simply need to change this class here if you're going to change it. So this class corresponds to the buttons class. So let's go to advanced. And as you can see, I have added it here, right? So if you change it here, you have to change it in the code. Otherwise, it's not going to work, as you know, as I've always said, and I'll continue saying this. All right, because sometimes it, we might overlook these things so that is it that is everything and everything you need to do and nothing else and as i said if you want to change the color of the button you can do it in the css code let me just go to css and you can do it from here yeah i have added some extra code that i don't necessarily think we need here we can add it in, in elementor natively I will clean up this code, but I just wanted to get this out to you so you can play around with it. So I will have this on the OWO website, the code, and you can get it from there. So yeah, in terms of Cloudways, if you are interested in getting a reliable hosting, especially if you are going to be building a website that is animation filled and you have a lot of things going on i think cloudways could be an option for you so i will leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out and i hope this magnetic button will make your day if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye